So correct me if I'm wrong, but am I the only one that's actually enjoying this this chapter of Nisekoi? I mean, I love the date. I loved how the climax went from soothing calm all the way into this like rush theme and all that stuff. Like I enjoyed this chapter a lot. Date was kind of cute and romantic. I enjoyed how Onodora and Raku acted. And even if you hate Onodora, you gotta admit that she was pretty sweet in this chapter. Like, yeah, like how they were talking when they were at the movies, all that stuff. Some of this stuff actually pisses me off. Like at the movie, when they were at the movie, like it's obvious that they don't pay attention. But it was pretty funny when they were like, when Onodora was like, oh, that action scene was pretty cool. And he was like, yeah, what? He was like, what explosion scene? He didn't even know what explosion scene means. He just went, he just went with the flow. And she was like, what? There was actually a scene like that? Like, it was funny. And yeah, and stuff like that. But like, Nizukoi with this plot progression is getting really good. But ultimately, at the end of this chapter, Raku's got to make a choice. Like, is he going to go on a romantic Christmas date, watch this awesome showing at the shopping mall with Onodora, or is he going to go and save his lock get, and the promise with the girl that ten from 10 years ago? Now, if it were me, I would have picked the locket due to the fact that it's just more natural. It's more something that you would possibly do if you were in that situation too. I mean... If you look at it, like, what's one date going to do? It's one Christmas date. You can do that every year, every Christmas. But this promise is special. It's from a girl 10 years ago. And if that girl ends up being Onodora, Raku, you can do whatever the fuck you want with her. You can fuck her around the, you know what. And Yeah, like, I'm not talking, I'm not just talking about sex here. Like, they could get married. A lot of stuff can happen if they find out that they're the promise people and they end up confessing to each other. So, like, if it were me... I, I'd go with the fact that go to go to the garbage disposal, pick up the locket, and save the promise. I mean, Onodora's already making her way over there, so like, Raku, that's probably what you're going to do, but Raku's going to have to make a decision. Well, ultimately, that's, that's what it's going to come down to. Is he going to risk one date with his, with his possible girlfriend, or is he going to save the promise and have more dates and other stuff? cool stuff, fun stuff in the future with possibly Onodora who could possibly be the promise girl but yeah like that, that's overall what the, really this chapter was about and like I enjoyed a couple scenes here and there like I said the date was pretty cute, it was funny it was hilarious fucking hilarious actually and at some points like I enjoyed it a lot and I can't wait to see more in Isekoi when, when they were going to plot progression in Isekoi like they're going full serious neat plot progression nowadays. So it's probably nice that we take this seriously as possible as much as we possibly can and stuff like that. Uh, yeah. But ultimately there's not enough there wasn't that much happening in this chapter. But I'm gonna say it right now. Raku is probably going to save the lock and save the promise because that is just what Raku would do. Although, he could try and do both. Which is probably going to end up happening. But let me know your thoughts but down below. All that shit. What do you think is going to happen in Nisekoi Chapter 167? Yeah. Nisekoi Chapter 167. How are you enjoying the Nisekoi plot progression so far? Who are you up for? Team Chidoge or Team No Onodora? I keep asking that. Alright, so... Let me know all that shit down below. Drop me a like if you enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe if you're new. I'm Kevin Ambrose, everybody's favorite Asian, and I'll, Asian, and I'll talk to you guys later.